In this video, I'll show you how to ban right to left language subtitles in DaVinci Resolve. Hi, my name is David and if this is your first time watching my video tutorials and you get any value from the content that you watch, kindly consider subscribing, liking the video and sharing it with your friends. Not every language is read or written from left to right. For example, if I read this, it's from left to right, how to easily. If you're working with uh, subtitles in Arabic and other right-to-left languages, for example, you can just pull up a web browser, Arabic, Aramaic, Azeri, Mal Maldivian, Hebrew, Kurdish, Persian, or Urdu, and many other languages or small languages, then you need to know that they use right-to-left scripts. What this means is that H or here should be on this side and scripts and the colon should be on the other side. So that's out of the way and you know some of the languages that are support or are written and read from right to left. So getting an application that supports right to left languages that you can use to ban subtitles of those different languages to a video is usually very difficult or potentially the particular application that you get is quite expensive. DaVinci Resolve is an easy, free, and simple alternative to banning in right to left subtitles into a video. So for this particular video, I have an Arabic subtitle file for this particular video that I want us to use to ban into the video. So the first thing we do then is just navigate to my folder and uh, the subtitle is here with the extension .ar. Let's uh, check it out uh, with maybe something like notepad. Just click on it. And there we have it. Now, the one thing that you might notice from uh, this particular notepad file is that the punctuation is to the right. It should be the other way around. So let's import or drag and drop our subtitle file in DaVinci. And there we have it. So as I've shown you in the different tutorials of adding subtitles uh, in DaVinci, for example, importing an SRT file in DaVinci, you'll need to right click and add subtitle track. Once you do that, then let's just uh, slightly magnify this. We'll need to drag and drop our subtitle. Uh, let's say it starts around there. We've just dragged and dropped it in. By default, if you look at uh, this particular section, nothing has happened. If I click on it, nothing has happened. Now, this is uh, quite disheartening if you don't know what is going on. If you also click on this, uh, it's good that DaVinci recognizes it's right to left. Uh, on this particular pane here, you'll notice the full stops are on this particular side, but inside the caption box here where you type, uh, the full stops are to the left. And you can also see the cursor is blinking to the right, showing you that it's being written from right to left. So what is the catch or how do you solve this? It's pretty simple and you'll just be amazed. Just come to the style. Let's say we do center alignment and then watch. When I tick stroke, everything else goes and the subtitles appear. So you can just see the first one, the second one, and you can keep going. So that's already available. What else do you need to do? You need to add a background. Let's add that. Let's just click on one here. Uh, just uh, drag it here, just click on width and then let's uh, do some height, uh, maybe something like there and we can just uh, increase that width slightly. So you can notice that uh, the punctuation is to the left and that is what we want with our Arabic or right to left subtitles. You'll notice as you scroll down that uh, the, the punctuation, even if you're seeing the punctuation here, you'll see it the way it should be written and read right to left. We can just keep scrolling. Let's see. This one is quite a lot. So once you notice something of that sort, then you'll know that you might need to readjust uh, the width. There we go. And uh, the one thing that I wish that DaVinci would do is ensure that the background applied 
conforms to each and every subtitle because some subtitles might be long and that might be short and having for example this big uh, black uh, background to just a small subtitle here uh, then that is going to be a problem uh, so if you look at it like this you notice that this box should at least conform or adapt to the size of the subtitle but we can appreciate that the subtitles are conforming to the right to left languages rules of uh, uh, maybe uh, the languages that we're working with so once you're satisfied with your results uh, all you need to do is just come to deliver and then you can say uh, banding Arabic subtitle and then the same place inside uh, our DaVinci Resolve folder and then ensure that the export tab or the checkbox is selected and you have the option band into video uh, selected and that's uh, once you're satisfied add to render queue it's here just click on uh, we can just close this one uh, render all let's just give it a couple of seconds and it's almost done there we go it's just blazing through but the trick to burning in Arabic subtitles or maybe potentially right to left subtitles using DaVinci Resolve and ensuring that they appear is ensuring that the stroke is turned off if it is turned on you will not see the subtitles in the window or the video preview section so that's just about it and I hope that this video is going to help somebody who is uh, interested in banning in Arabic subtitles to their videos thank you so much for watching and maybe if you stick around till the end then we'll do a quick preview uh, of uh, the video output let's just check it out banned in Arabic subtitle with the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download. So you can, you'll can you notice that the punctuation is on this particular side. That's the full stop. So that's a good thing if you can do that for free without using any money. Uh, the only thing I hope and wish is that DaVinci uh, tries and uh, makes the caption box or the background adaptive to the subtitle that somebody is working or uh, with. Thank you so much for watching this video uh, and until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thank you so much for watching this video.